With us this morning now is CBS News political correspondent Jen Crawford, up from Washington. Um, and, and the question, Jen, is what, what is the reaction in Washington right well, now? Well, I mean, I mean, obviously, this was one of the most eagerly anticipated books, you know, of the century, practically. Cheney never has been known to kind of pull his punches, and he certainly isn't in this book. He, he basically has got having it out with almost every official in the administration, including the president himself. So already, I think what you're starting to see is now some of those administration officials are really starting to push back. And one of those who was pushing back did so with uh, with our own Bob Schieffer, CBS News chief Washington correspondent and host of Face the Nation. Bob, you had an exclusive interview on Sunday with Colin Powell where he really launched quite a counterattack, right? Well, I'll tell you, uh, Erica, if there is any one single thing in this book that Colin Powell likes about it, he didn't get around to mentioning it to me uh, <laughs> during that interview. I mean, he slammed the president, uh, I mean, the, the vice president, uh, he challenged his assertions. In some places, he challenged his facts. He said the book was full of cheap shots. He even slammed the way that the uh, uh, former vice president has been uh, promoting the book by saying it's going to cause heads to explode all over Washington. Here's just a little bit that will give you the flavor of this. It's essentially a rehash of events of seven or eight years ago. What really sort of got my attention was this way in which he characterized it. It's going to cause heads to explode. That's quite a visual. And in fact, the kind of headline I would expect to come out of a gossip columnist or the kind of headline you might see one of the uh, supermarket tabloids write, it's not the kind of headline I would have expected to come from a former vice president of the United States of America. Mr. Cheney has had a long and distinguished career, and I hope in his book that's what he will focus on, not these uh, cheap shots that he's taking at me and other members of the administration who serve to the best of our ability for uh, President Bush. He says that uh, I went out of my way not to present my positions to the president, but to take them outside of the administration. That's nonsense. The president knows that I told him what I thought about every issue of the day. Mr. Cheney may forget that I'm the one who said to President Bush, if you break it, you own it. And you have got to understand that if we have to go to war in Iraq, uh, we have to be prepared for the whole war, not just the first phase. And Mr. Cheney and many of his colleagues did not prepare for what happened after the fall of Baghdad. And I persuaded the president to take the case to the United Nations to see if it could be solved without war. And if it couldn't be solved without war, we would have people aligned with us. Mr. Cheney went out immediately after the president made that decision and undercut it by giving two speeches to two veterans groups that essentially said he didn't believe it would work. That's not the way you support a president. Then he also says that, uh, you know, I was not supportive of the president's positions. Well, who went to the United Nations and, regrettably, with a lot of false information? It was me. It wasn't Mr. Cheney. I supported the president. I support the president's decisions. I gave the president my best advice. It was clear by 2004 that uh, the team was not functioning as a team. She's yeah. taken the sa same shots at, at Condi with an almost condescending tone. She tearfully did this or that. And he's taken the same shots at uh, George Tenet. And he has also, in some ways, uh, indicated he didn't always approve of what President Bush was deciding. Um, and there's nothing wrong with saying you disagree. But there's not, it's not necessary to take these kind of barbs and then try to pump a book up by saying heads will be exploding. That's even, that's even on the headline uh, section of the uh, Nixon Foundation to sell the book. Uh, so I think it's a bit, a bit too far. I think uh, Dick uh, overshot the runway. So pretty clear there, I think, how Colin Powell, yeah, how, he, uh, how he feels about it. Jan, as you mentioned, no one really safe in the book. Uh, Bob, as Colin Powell said, his head isn't necessarily exploding over this. But do you think anybody else in Washington, we're going to see a real explosive reaction to some of these, uh, these allegations? Well, <laughs> I think, it, as we say, it'll kind of break down on party lines here. The, the Cheney camp will have one view of this, and, and the uh, so-called uh, moderates in the uh, Bush administration uh, will probably have, have another view. I, I have to tell you, I, I, uh, I was a little surprised myself by the, by the tone of this book. Uh, uh, Dick Cheney is a tough customer, and he always has been. But uh, even I was a little taken aback by how, how blunt and direct he was. And, and in many cases, he, he states these things that he lays out in the book, but he doesn't always uh, 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 
you know, follow them up with facts. I mean, Colin Powell had steam coming out of his ears yesterday uh, when he w when he was talking about this to me. Uh, I, I have never seen him. Uh, uh, he was truly, I, I think, offended uh, by what he uh, what he read in this book. Yeah, and, and we, we all know Bob as, and, and, and Jen as well that, there, that, that there's been tension between Powell and Cheney in the past. That, that, that part of it is nothing new, and we also know that there's some hyperbole used at time to sell books. But, but <laughs> uh, this, this 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 does seem extreme, and I, and, I, and I wonder if the vice president would take those words back about heads exploding if he had the chance to. Bob, any thoughts on that? Well, I think he wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, I, th I don't think uh, Dick Cheney. Uh, one thing uh, about Dick Cheney is uh, when he says something, it is because uh, I have always, and I've known him back uh, since he was a, uh, you know, a staff member uh, for President Ford back in the uh, Ford administration. Uh, he says things because he means them, and uh, he means what he says. No, I don't think he'll take it back. Bob, let me ask, this is Jan. I mean, what, though, I mean, you've known him a long time, just like you said. I mean, what is going on here? Why do you think Cheney's doing this? Is this for his legacy? I, what, what's the point? You know, I have no idea, Jan. Uh, I mean, uh, people people write books after they've been in administrations, and they have different motivations uh, for doing it. Uh, I think uh, I think Dick Cheney wanted to present his version of history, and uh, that is just what we've gotten here: is his version of history. And uh, uh, I would. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's it's very hard to attribute motives to anybody of why they do such things. Uh, but I think he wanted us to have his side of it. Well, and it is uh, it is already getting plenty of attention, which I'm sure he wanted as well. And, and that part is working. Bob Schieffer, Jen Crawford, thanks as always.